Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Android Boy Chris, and hopefully I don't get any coconut fiber in that little wound. You know what I'm saying? I broke that junk open three times in one day. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> In today's video, we got another Going With The Flow. As y'all can see from the title of this video, we got Going With The Flow episode 11. And yeah, we're just gonna see what we could get ourselves into within this video. So we got some containers right here. And in here, we got some Brazilian black tarantulas. Okay, little babies, little slings. I need to get these tarantulas moved into a bigger enclosure just because I, I just feel bad having them in this small little enclosure. You could already see one right there, dude. It's, the, it's a little bit too big for this enclosure. So we're gonna get into this one. And this might be a little bit too big for the tarantula at this point in time, but it should soon enough grow into this enclosure because they are due for a molt pretty, pretty soon. Oh, yeah. Ooh, y'all see that scoop, though? That scoop method clean, bro. I, I straight up invented the scoop method out here, bro. I swear to God. Y'all don't even know about the scoop method. Y'all... Y'all better give me my respect. Here, here. Okay. A few stupid decisions later. So, I literally just noticed something. Y'all see anything wrong with these enclosures? Maybe anything out of the ordinary when it comes to these enclosures, hmm? Hmm? Y'all see anything different? Y'all see anything wrong? I forgot to put freaking air holes. Boy! How the hell am I trench is gonna breathe in a goddamn enclosure that has no air holes? Jesus Christ, thank God I actually caught this. Yo, I'm actually so down, bro. What is wrong with me? Oh, okay. Time to poke some holes, I guess. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna make like such a cool transition. It's gonna be like that. Boom. I'm gonna put it down to like the thing. And then, boom, it's gonna come back up like this. Watch. Sheesh! Y'all see them holes? Yes. Oh my God. But yeah, guys, I think I did a pretty good job with poking the holes. Y'all can... Come on, dude. We out here. We literally out here. So for this enclosure right here, I decided to just break up a little piece of cork bark into a bunch of little smaller pieces. So then I could just scatter those across the enclosure just to add a little bit more depth into this tank and just more of a naturalistic aesthetic. So yeah, that's how that is. But when it comes to this one, I think we're going to add something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So I guess I could just place this one right here. Okay. okay. Looking kind of fire. Kind of fire, not going to lie. Let me go into my famous bag of leaves. Okay, where's, where's a little... Oh, look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Oh, yes. Okay, this color is really earth tones, you know? You want them earth tones to have a fire enclosure. Fire enclosure. Okay, guys? You want a really fire enclosure, you got to have them earth tones. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? That's freaking earth tones, guys. The tones of the earth, okay? You're just gonna want that right there. Where the... <gasps> oh, I found it. Oh, yes, I found it. Oh, yes. Oh, oh I thought the bag was gonna fall. Jeez, that would've given me a heart attack. Damn! Y'all see that, bro? This is the actual final product, okay? We got cork bark. Boom, boom. Cork bark right there. Good. We got leaf litter. Boom, boom, boom. Leaf litter right there. Good. We got substrate. Boom! Right there. Good! And overall, I think the tarantulas will enjoy the hell out of this enclosure. Challenge clear! So these baby Brazilian black tarantulas are actually known not to bite as babies and even when they get to adults. So I have no problem just sticking my finger in here, having them climb up to my hand so that I could put it into its enclosure because, um, yeah. Why the hell not do it like that? Come on, dude. Um... Just climb up my finger. Damn it. Um, okay, this is really hard with one hand. It's really hard with one hand. Okay, don't want to smash the tarantula now. When I get nervous, my voice goes up. So, um, yeah, just come on. Just come on. I don't, okay. So, okay, I need to put the camera down. I, I really need to. Whoa, you broke it. <laughs> Whoa. What in the world? <laughs> So when a tarantula is of this size, you know what I'm saying? When its abdomen is that girthy and fat, you definitely do not want it to fall from any height onto a hard surface because there is a possibility that that tarantula's balloon bottom will actually pop like a balloon. <laughs> Boom, look at that, look at that. First tarantula inside of its new enclosure. One more panoramic shot of this one enclosure. And now we're just gonna close that. Wait. Are you ready to go into your new home, boy? Huh? Yes. Boom! Bada boom! We did that. Okay, that was actually pretty easy and pretty fun, okay? I had a good time. And now we got the next part of this going with the flow. Let's freaking get it, bro.
Okay, so for the next part of this going with the flow, we're going to check in on my Vietnamese giant centipede. And yeah, as y'all can see in the enclosure right here, it's getting a little crusty. So we need to definitely add some water into the substrate just to make sure that the substrate isn't all bone dry. Let that thing bleed to the, you know what I mean? Wonky slush. Damn, y'all see how I pour that water though? Yes. Change! I low-key clean with it. Oh my gosh. And right there, I see some... Uh, yeah. uh, this y'all really want to know what this is do y'all really want to know what this is if this already isn't a dead giveaway these are the wings of a male dubia roach that my centipede has already eaten for some reason he didn't eat the wings i don't know why i guess he doesn't want to be fly <laughs> <laughs> okay that was horrible jesus okay drop that full right there you know what i'm saying he's living out his best life in heaven r.i.p the homie dubia roach 2021 through 2021. Oh, there's my centipede. Jeez. Okay, let's go grab another dubia roach. I think we should give him a female this time just because, um, why the hell not, bro? You know what, guys? I think this dubia roach might be a little bit too big, but we're going in for it anyways, okay? It's not exactly the size of an adult female dubia roach, like I said I was going to grab, but it's like one molt away from that, dude. So, yeah, I think this might be. You know what? Dude, my centipede's gangster, bro. What am I talking about, dude? My centipede could take this down any day of the week, bro. I would, I would bet my centipede could take this down 10 times out of 10, bro. What is you talking about? What is you talking about? Okay, yeah, we got the Doobie Roach. Let's freaking go inside. Here, let me clamp this thing on. Oh, the Doobie Roach almost crawled on my little cut. And that would be an infection for sure. Okay, bro. You ready, dude? You ready for your death? You about to die in like the worst way possible. God damn, look at this beast of a goddamn centipede. Holy crap. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yes. Y'all ready? Oh, dude. Dude, don't rock. You just gonna walk over the centipede? You just gonna walk over the dubia roach? What? What was that? It's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just try again, right? We'll just try again. Come on. Here. Get. Fall. Okay. You're literally right in front of the... Come on, dude. This dubia roach needs to move. Get to moving. Bro, you're literally hugging the dubia roach. Notice that it's food. I hate that they play dead. It's so annoying. You're literally so annoying. Dog water. Absolutely dog water. You're literally hot dog, dog water. water. Come on. Come on. Be alive. Be alive, you dubia roach. Run. Alright. You wanna you wanna you wanna play games? You think it's fun? Oh now you decide to run, huh? 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 It's like you could sense the presence. Oh dude, you could eat it, bro. I, I promise you you can. This centipede. This centipede's being awfully chill, bro. He's being a little bit too chill if you ask me. So chill, so Dude, what if the dubia roach attacks the centipede, huh? 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 Maybe I'll get him to defensively bite and then I'll start eating it, maybe? Here, I'm not gonna like harm the centipede in any way, but I'm gonna have to disrespect my centipede real quick, okay? Because I know for a fact my centipede ain't no punk. Come on, here, bite it, bite it, bite it. He didn't eat the dubia roach. <laughs> You know what, we'll give the centipede the benefit of the doubt, okay? Maybe that dubia roach was a little bit too big, so it doesn't recognize it as a food item. We'll get a continental roach that's a little bit smaller than that dubia roach. So yeah, we'll just save you for later, okay? <laughs> yeah, Stay in there, bro, okay? Don't fall out. Pack acquired. And let's just grab a continental roach. Okay, time to see- Oh, wait, 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 I literally just have a freaking- You know what? Should I close the tank? It could have been closed already if I would have just closed the tank. But my stupidity is getting the best of me. I'm not going to close the tank. So we've got to hurry the hell up. Okay. I don't think that the centipede could crawl out. But there's always a slim chance that I'm wrong. Because I'm usually wrong. And we're just going to make the grab. Oh, yes. That was a 10 out of 10. Y'all seen that? Bro, I'm getting quick with the grabs. Hey, stop. Hey, mother. Okay. Look, it's a little bit muddy over there, bro. You sure you want to be down in the mud? Yo, my centipede fucks with the mud, bro. Straight out the slums. Okay. Uh kind of like done bro look at it oh crap that full climbing glass I'm fast as fuck boy yo you need a chill what the hell oh hell no oh oh hell okay hold up hold up. yo stop bro i got the freaking okay let me close this okay what do you think you're doing Nothing, bro huh? I swear. yeah yeah run back in there yeah as if i didn't see a thing hmm? you didn't see anything what are you like talking about Bro, you're actually you're actually done, bro. Even if my centipede does not eat, bro, you're for sure getting fed to something. Yeah, we'll see about so that. Let me just um. <laughs> oh, what the f dude? This was doing gymnastics. I didn't even see it. I couldn't. I told you I was fast. Yo, yo, this fool wants. This fool's a gymnasium. 
freaking gymnasium, bro. Stop. Ah! Why does this happen every video, bro? I mean, it's funny to edit, but I'm not doing it on purpose. I promise. <laughs> Stop. Oh, barely got it. it. Just messing barely around. Barely got it. Oh, dude, it could literally fit down that hole, bro. Okay. okay. Stop. I no, I man, got a blast. blast. Oh, no, I... Ah, that one hurt. Ah, okay. ah. He's literally so fast. He's Speedy Gonzalez on that air. He is Speedy Gonzalez on that air. Okay. Whew. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I straight up grabbed it by the head. You know what I'm saying? I got this roach straight up by the head, dude. I, I'm telling this roach, bro. I don't play games, okay? I'm I'm the king in this palace. So with regards to feeding the centipede, I've pretty much come to the conclusion that it's probably not going to eat. So I'm not even going to bother digging it up and trying to feed it. So instead, I need to figure out where the hell do I butch you, bro? Um, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right into the chamber. Right into death's chamber. Come on. Come on. This is for the homie Ember Chamberlain. You know what I'm saying? This is Ember Chamberlain's chamber of embers. Ember Chamberlain's chamber of embers. Ah! Oh! You dumb! You freaking idiot! Oh my... Before we get on to the millipedes, okay, even though I really, really, really want to get onto those millipedes, let's go on and feed. Ah! So we're gonna open this thing up. This is a nice and delicious little tarantula, you know what I'm saying? Doing well in captivity. And we're gonna get that dubia roach out of my pocket. Hopefully he's still there. Um, there you go, bro. Okay, so now let's just, um, let's just drop this thing in. Oh, crap, crap, crap. That was not a good drop. That was not a good drop at all. Okay, hopefully he'll still take down that dubia roach. It is a little bit big, but I've seen this tarantula take down prey items that are way, way, way bigger. You know what I'm saying? Of the hissing cockroach descent, dude. Okay, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, dude, tarantula, why are you scared, bro? If you scared, go to church, goddammit. Yeah, look, I hate dubia roaches, bro. I hate feeding them to freaking tarantulas because all they do is just play dead. Look at that. Look at that, and then he's gonna go under the web. It's always under the web, bro. Why do you have to go under the web? Holy crap, dude. I'll literally fight you right now, dude. I'll fight you outside, I swear. <laughs> Look at that clean water dish. Jeez! Okay, you know what? Oh my god, my dogs, dude. Y'all remember this ugly thing right here? Well, yes, my tarantula was actually able to save it. He made it look much, much more clean than it was when I, like, placed it back. So, yeah, that was in the last video, you know, going with the flow, episode 10. Go check it out, guys, if you haven't already seen it. This is going to be an epic trick shot. Watch. Damn it. It stayed on. <sighs> Boom! Freaking, <laughs> freaking, um, what's that, what's that show called on YouTube? Dude, perfect! <laughs> <laughs> nice shot y'all see that dubia roach who else sees that dubia roach oh oh this stupid tarantula is gonna come out dude attack your prey for once in your life dude attack your prey oh, okay it just flicked hairs i'm pretty sure so yeah guys nothing was able to eat that dubia roach I wasted so much time trying to get stuff to eat the dubia roach. And in the end, everything that I tried to feed the dubia roach to didn't eat it because I overfeed my animals. What did he say? <laughs> so I ended up eating the dubia roach, you know what I'm saying? It was a tasty treat, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I got decently full, good source of protein. you know, for my growing body. And yeah, just wanted to tell you guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We straight vibing on the floor and I'll see you on the next video. Late.